Good morning, Canada West. We've just finished Pentecost Sunday, the official birth of the church as we know it. And I'm fasc fascinated about how missions connects with Pentecost Sunday. Of course, it marks and celebrates the presence of the Holy Spirit. With signs and wonders, the Holy Spirit powerfully united the believers and sparked the addition of thousands more. When missionaries share transformational stories, they are testifying to the power of the Holy Spirit and his work that goes beyond their gifts and abilities. It is wonderful that God used this occasion to reveal his will for all to be part of his family. People from many tribes and nations heard the story of Jesus proclaimed in their own language. Suddenly, it was not just about the Jews being God's chosen people. Everyone is lumped in. Mission celebrates a cross-cultural worship experience. It's truly why missionaries go to the unreached. Pentecost is the beginning of a much bigger story. The book of Acts recounts how the believers cared for Jews and Gentiles, widows and sick, every disenfranchised person. Out of this ministry, the believers scattered and multiplication began. What a wonderful time to celebrate God's plan for the nations. I have just a few reminders for you this week. Number one, reunion is coming, yay! We get to celebrate together what God has been doing locally and across our district. I can't wait to see your reports. We are blessed to have a time to share on Friday morning at the plenary session. We will have an exciting theme presentation, greetings from our missionaries, promotion of our new projects, and celebration of a great year. You won't want to miss it. Then we, NMI, are sponsoring a luncheon for all. It will be special food and decorations, and we're so excited to have Alan Cristales share with us from Nazarene Compassionate Ministries Canada. They want to thank you personally for your involvement. Oh, and don't forget, we have swag again this year. Looking forward to that. In the afternoon, there will be NDI and NMI workshops. We're only going to offer two this year, so you can attend both of them. One is going to be Alan and Yara Cristales, and they're going to talk about how Nazarene Compassionate Ministries Canada is loving their neighbors. And then we have JL Salongan and Jackie Wicks, and they're going to be sharing Discover Missions in the Dominican Republic and how that was loving your neighbors. Yara and Alan will share at the Rocky Mountain House Church on Sunday, July 9th. And then we're going to have a barbecue at our house, the Diperts, in Sylvan Lake at 6 p.m. We would love to have you all come and enjoy and get to know the Cristales. We'll provide the meat and you can bring a side and a dessert if you want. Just connect with me. Of course, this is most relevant for Central Alberta churches, but any who can make it are welcome to come. Who doesn't want an evening at the lake? Number three, thank you to all of you who participated in this year's adult project. Sedgwick Church just let me know that they had a wonderful time at their dessert auction and that they that they held and they raised $550 for the Medang Training Center. I'm excited to find out what our total is that we raised. You are all to be congratulated. Thank you for your faithfulness. Let's get on to our next year. Number four, pencil crayons and boxes for General Assembly. We're running out of time, and if you have plastic pencil cases or bag boxes and 24 packs of pencil crayons, you can get them to Penny, you're in Red Deer, or June and Nita Gananciel in Winnipeg. I'm flying out tomorrow, so it's too late to get them to me, and I believe Lori Watton is leaving on the weekend as well. Thanks for helping with the school packs for NMI. Number five, Kids Kaleidoscope. I really hope you're all signed up for NMI Central. If not, do it now. Just go to nazarene.org slash NMI and look for the NMI Central link on the right side. It's easy and it's free. And the good news is that they've started sending children's resources at the beginning of each month. So tomorrow... Tomorrow's NMI Central should have a link to Kids Kaleidoscope. This is excellent free children's curriculum for your kids. Let's take advantage of it. I think that's all the reminders I have for now. I'd just like to close with a short story from a sermon that Bob preached in 2012. 
Through the quiet streets of a fishing village that lay at the mouth of a turbulent river, a cry rang out, boy overboard. Quickly a crowd gathered and anxious eyes looked over the rushing water to the figure of the drowning boy. Each anxious mother's heart was asking, is he my boy? A rope was brought and the strongest swimmer in the village volunteered to rescue the drowning lad. Tying one end to his, of the rope to his waist, he threw the other among the crowd and plunged in. Eagerly, they watched him breast the tide with strong, sure strokes. And a cheer went up when he reached the boy and grasped him safely in his powerful arms. Pull in the rope, he shouted over the swirling waters. The villagers looked from one to another. Who is holding the rope, they asked. But no one was holding the rope. In the excitement of watching the rescue, the end of the rope had slipped into the water. Powerless to help, they watched two precious lives go down because no one had made it his business to hold the shore end of the rope. Must millions perish because there is no one to hold the shore end of the rope? Are we praying? Are we giving? Are we answering the call? Are we holding the rope? I hope you are.